Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us for another edition of Texas Insider TV, brought to you by Speedstream. I'm Jim Cardle. One of the most closely watched races in the state this year was for Senate District 16, just east of Dallas. It was expensive and hotly contested, eventually won in the Republican primary by less than 250 votes by Don Huffines. Don Huffines has long been involved in politics and civic community around the Dallas area, and we're pleased to be able to visit today with Mr. Huffines. Don, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Jim. Thanks for letting me come. Um, as I mentioned, we'll get into the particulars of your race. It was a hard-fought and closely watched race. But first, if I could, because you're in the, the Metroplex area and it, it was watched and will be known by some of our viewers, but mm -hmm. first, if I can, just let me ask you, tell us a little bit about yourself, both personally and politically. What do people need to know about Mr. Huffines to start? Okay. Well, I was a uh, fourth, fifth generation Texan, mm -hmm. born in Dallas, raised in the district. Uh, I've been active in politics all my life. And uh, first campaign I worked on, I was 17, working for the Reagan campaign in 76. And I was a delegate to the county convention about two weeks when I turned 18 and got the vote for, for Reagan. And I've worked a lot of campaigns on the grassroots level uh, 20 years ago. And, and since then, I've worked for a lot of conservative Republicans over the years. And been married 27 years to, to my beautiful wife, Mary Catherine. We have five children. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Four boys and a girl. And I have three of them at the University of Texas. One graduated from TCU and one still in high school. And we homeschooled them most of their uh, schooling careers. And uh, so I'm down here in Austin quite a bit watching football games. Well, uh, and you and I have got the TCU uh, Ty as well. Congratulations on on five fine kids. Thank you. Uh, and in your background, I know a lot of folks will know the Huffines name from car dealerships. You're involved in real estate, but if I can, uh, also just jumping into the race because it was so hard fought. How did you do it? There are about fifty thousand votes in that district. Extremely expensive. Uh, rare case that a challenger will beat a 27-year incumbent. How would you pull off this upset, so to speak? Well, it's true. It was an epic campaign, I like to say. And, and our, it, was it, a, it was not a whimsical decision to enter into the race. Uh, we did a lot of research, and I, I assembled. I felt like the best team ever assembled. I went out of state to pick some of those guys to run the campaign. And uh, we, we just did a great job. I mean, we stayed on message. It was a very disciplined campaign. It was a lot of work. We put many, many hours in it. No one went to bed before 2 o'clock in the morning every night. We would forget what day it was. And we, we just uh, really stayed on message. It was a conservative message that won the day. You know, Senate District 16 is the heart, I like to say, this North Dallas County. It's the north half of Dallas County. Okay. And... I like to look at it as the heart of the Republican Party for the state of Texas, if not for the nation. I mean, it's where the Republican Party started, basically, in the state of Texas. Okay. And I always thought that it was a lot more conservative than my opponent did. He'd been representing it a long time, and it, uh, the conservative message won. Um, I know that in studying up a little bit here and watching your campaign over the last three or four months, You've always said it was the message, not the messenger, conservative message. Appreciate that. But a couple of issues per se. Um, term limits, I know, was a key issue for you. Lower taxes, limited government. Talk about what you heard on the campaign trail. What resonated? What were some of your key planks? Uh, and therefore, what we're most likely to see out of your political career? No, you're right, Jim. That's Well, I'm going to deliver what I campaigned on. And that's term limits. That will be one of the first bills I submit. I have signed a term limit pledge, uh, three terms uh, in, in the Senate. And like I said, told all the voters, I, I'm not running to get a new career. I'm not running to make money or protect my business. I'm really, de I'm really I'm running and won this election to, to get, save Texas and keep the conservative message going in the Republican Party. And so term limits is a big issue. 
Transportation is a big issue. Choice and competition in the school si- in the school system is a big issue, and of course, taxes is always an issue. How about the idea? Uh, as I know you've heard, but as I mentioned, that this was a bellwether race going to indicate the future of the Texas Senate's direction, how conservative it may or may not be. Do you have any thoughts about the overall Senate and and the labeling of your race as such? Well, there's no doubt my race was labeled between a conservative and a liberal. That was my campaign. Okay. That's what the, the message resonated, and we won. And we won by 635 votes, and we were ahead all night, and and it was a, a late night on election night, but it, no doubt. And the Senate itself will be definitely more conservative. I think there's going to be a new day in Austin. A lot of conservatives are going to be moving to town. And, you know, how this uh, lieutenant governor race shakes, is, uh, shapes up is going to uh, be very important in determining the flavor of the Senate. And because you're in Dallas, as you mentioned, um, it's an expensive market to run in. DFW is one of the most expensive media markets. You all had to each raise a lot of money. Tell us about the challenge, if you would. People understand shoe leather knocking on doors, but financially it had to be a challenge for you. Talk about the difficulty of the race, if you would. Well, it's always difficult, you know, to run against an, an incumbent. And there's just the two of us in the race. We have no Democrat in the fall. And we raised a lot of money, and it took a lot of money. I was still outspent, almost two to one in, on the, in the election, in the race. And okay. It's, uh, it was difficult, but it's doable. And in the end, you, you obviously uh, have a smile on your <laughs> face, and a libertarian, no Democrat, as you mentioned in the, in the primary. Folks, thanks for joining us again for this issue of Texas Insider TV with Senate District Republican candidate Don Huffines. Don, if I can, kind of wrapping up, uh, because it was a hard-fought campaign, Mm -hmm. uh, there has to be some division within the Dallas County Republican Party or some uh, bridges to be rebuilt, so to speak. You've now got the mantle of the candidate. You're going to be having to reach back over and, and establish contacts with some folks who had previously supported your Challenger, talk about that if you would. What are the plans for you between now and November? Well, my goal is to make sure we all unite as Republicans, and our goal is to make sure we defeat the Democrats in November. There's nothing more important than that in defeating Wendy Davis and her liberal agenda, and we're going to get that done. Uh, Dallas County, we're all going to come together. We're all working together, and we're going to take Dallas County back to the red column and, and put Republicans in every office we can. Because a lot of folks won't know, Dallas County used to be, as you mentioned, a traditionally Republican, yes. uh, not necessarily at the congressional or even some of you state level, but the county courthouse, the commissioners. Uh, what is the the battle? Is it uh, surmountable for this election, do you think, or is it going to take a couple cycles to make some inroads at the Dallas County level? I think we can do it this year. I really do. And it might take another cycle to complete the process, but we should make a lot of progress this fall. I honestly believe that. If we can just get the Republicans to pull the lever or punch all Republican ticket, pull the lever, however you want to say it, but to vote all the way down ballot. That's very important. We get a lot of people that peel off on the judge races, and so we can just make sure all those Republicans vote for every Republican on the ballot. We will win the county back. Okay, and and one final question. We both learned here before you came in about the passing of Senator Hutchison's husband, Ray Hutchison. I'm sure someone that you've worked with and known over the years. Any comments on, on Ray Hutchison's career and what he's done for the Republican Party, perhaps? Well, it's almost unprecedented what uh, Ray Hutchison did for the Republican Party over the years and, and, and what Kay's done also, what Senator Hutchison's done. And it's a, I'm sure they're grieving, and it's a sad day for them and a sad day for the Republican Party, mm-hmm. sad day for the state of Texas. Mm-hmm. Well, we're going to leave it at that. Uh, I'm glad that you came by. Congratulations on your race for a happy note. Mm -hmm. Folks, State Senate Republican nominee now, Don Huffines from Senate District 16, an upstart, expensive, and much watch indicator for the Republican Party in Texas. Don, we appreciate you coming by. Thank you, Jim. I appreciate it. Anytime. 
Folks, be sure and turn in, tune in for another and future editions of Texas Insider TV brought to you by Speedstream. And remember, you're either an insider or you're not. I'm Jim Cardle. Thanks.